All right, so we did a night at a Walmart. We are in Marshall, Minnesota. Yes. Mainly because there was an O'Reilly's right across the street and I had to order a part. We have a brake fluid leak from our master cylinder. So I had to order a master cylinder. Now we're gonna go find a little campground somewhere I can work on it besides a Walmart parking lot because I'm not gonna take my brakes apart in Walmart parking lot and not be able to take off if I have to. So we'll do a little campground. There should be something in Minnesota near us. I'm looking right now and we're gonna get out of here soon. We did find a free campground in Olivia. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the corn. Capital of Minnesota. Yeah, the corn capital. We've never heard of this either. Corn capital. Yeah. And it's it'll give me enough time hopefully to get the master cylinder switched. After that, I have to bleed the brakes. Candace has never bled brakes, so I am hoping we can get the brakes bled right. So the first day we relax and just kind of hang out. I did have to run the generator all day because it was really hot. But the next day, 70s, so I get started on the brakes. All right, guys, there's the old master cylinder. You can see how it's rusting in there and the stuff around there. There's like a seal behind here, I think, and it was the fluid was leaking out here and then leaking between the master cylinder and the power booster. So I finally get it switched out. It took me all day to do the master cylinder. It should have been like probably, I mean on a car, if you can just open the hood, I could probably do a master cylinder in an hour or two. But this took me almost all, well, I won't say all day. I started kind of late, I drank my coffee. <laughs> it took me a good, what, five hours? It was a while, he worked on it for a long time. Probably five hours while Candace paints rocks, mind yeah. you. <laughs> I stay busy. Yeah. Hey guys, Jason's getting ready to bleed the brakes. So he told me how to do it. Hopefully I can do a good job. Let me call him real quick. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. Okay. Now we've got a problem. We got a problem. So yeah, this is kind of a freaky thing. I mean, we can't pull out. I mean, you know, he's working on the brakes and we are like crossing our fingers, hoping. The bladers are really like the strip. We're gonna cross the other one, both the guys are the strip. What does that I'll mean? Call you, I'll call you back. Okay. So yeah, the master cylinder was nothing. Then I go to take the bleeder valves out and they're all already stripped. I locked vice grips on there, I beat on it. I, I sprayed them the day before with lube too, a couple times and I sprayed them that morning and nothing, could not get them out for nothing. I felt really sorry for him, I made him some brownies. Yeah. <laughs> I gave up for the day, it was late. I could not get the bleeder valves out to bleed the brakes. The next day we have to leave, it's a three day limit. Now I'm sure we could have called someone and told them, you know, we don't have brakes, but we are working on it. But I wanted to get it done and have brakes and get out of there. So I take the wheels off and I get a better angle and I finally rip these bleeder screws out with some vice grips. 
I paid two dollars for bleeder screws and each each brake caliper would have cost like thirty five dollars so huge difference in price but I just kept at it and they came out I'm so proud of them <laughs> okay so we finally got the brakes screws replaced on all of them so they should work good now so we're gonna bleed the brakes let's try this again hopefully we have better luck this time Yeah. Okay, we're well, ready. All right. All right, guys. I got the brakes bled. I think we're ready to pull out. And it's getting afternoon, so our three free days are up. Hey, there's a three-day limit here, period. You can't even pay for more. It says right on the sign when you come in, three-day limit. So, yeah, that was close. Yay. Thank God. That was scary stuff. Yes, it was a little, it, it was, <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking. All right, guys, we have brakes. Woo! Thank God. Yeah. Candace helped me bleed them and she's never done it before. So, she did nervous. pretty good. <laughs> Thank goodness, I thought we was stuck. I'd have got it eventually, but. Man. That's a lot of work. And now we're gonna use this free dump and fill up with water and we're good to go. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we got brakes. We got back on the road. We are still in Minnesota and it is super hot today. So if it's a little noisy, that's the air condition. We have it on low, but we have to have it on. It's 97 degrees outside and it says it feels like 105. Oh the humidity Crazy. it feels like Missouri all right guys don't forget to like share and subscribe below and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video yep and check us out on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter and send me a message say hi and don't forget to hit the bell you'll get a notification as soon as a new video comes out we try to do at least every two to three days see what's going on Hopefully we're still moving down the road. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. No, but it was a nice little town, nice little rest area. It was. It there wasn't was a, a rest area. That was the corn. campground. Yeah, the campground. There was a giant wow. corn <laughs> in the campground. It was kind of cool. The master cylinder connected to a hydro booster and I'm not going to put all this in there. Yeah, I know. I don't know why you're rambling on about how you do that. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I have to hear this stuff. You guys should have to hear it too. <laughs> Very soon, we're going to do some lake camping in Minnesota. And we're going to enjoy some of these lakes and all this water. There's a lot of water in Minnesota. And water means moisture. There is a lot of water. <laughs> Sure. Every five miles on these back roads, it's like, hey, there's a lake. Hey, You're like, look, there's hey, a lake. Hey, there's a lake. There's another lake. <laughs>